Shalom everyone. Today, the third day of Cholamoid Sukkot, the 18th of the Hebrew month of Tishrei, is not only Sukkot, but it's also the yard side, the day of the passing of the Holy Tzaddik, Rabbi Nachman Mibreslev. I heard a Torah yesterday and I felt before Shabbos comes in, I would love to share it. And Rabbi Nachman was, was speaking about the whole idea that when God gave the Torah to the Jewish people, how the entire mountain, Mount Sinai, was in a cloud. And Rabbi Nachman says the idea of a cloud is that a cloud creates a covering, a covering for the sun, a covering for the moon, a concealment, a darkness, a shade. And it says that Moses then goes up into the cloud. And what this means is that the role of the tzaddik, of a righteous individual, is to go into that place of concealment, of darkness, of hiddenness, the shadow, and to reveal godliness there. This could mean, metaphorically, the place of the obstacles in our lives and the struggles that we go through to find a way to show how God, God, the compassionate God, is truly hiding in that place. And as I thought of it more, I realized it's perfect, actually, that, th- that I heard this Torah right in the time of Sukkot. Because Sukkot is all about going out of your comfort zone, going out of your home and the place where you're used to being, and to go outside, go out, so to speak, into the darkness, and there to bring the light as well, similar to maybe the idea of Hanukkah, maybe, as well. To get out of your comfort zone, and to strengthen your faith in what the Zohar calls the shade or the shadow of, of Emunah. And from the seven day period where we do this, we cultivate the faith that we'll need for the whole year. And taking it perhaps just one step a little further, the word Sukkah itself, Samech, Vav, Chaf, and He we see that the two outside letters, which are, in a sense, the revealed letters, make up Samech and He, make up the the, the gematria of 65, which is God's name, Aleph Dalet Nun Yud, the name that is related to judgment, to punishment even, to justice, to mishpat. And it's harsh, in a sense. But... If you look at the two inside letters, you have a Vav and a Chaf, which makes 26. When you go inside, past the concealment, past what seems on the outside to just be din and judgment and darkness, you find that on the inside is Chaf Vav, which is God's name, the Yud, the He, the Vav, and the He, which is the name of compassion. And it's our job to go into the outside, into the concealment, into the obstacle into the harshness and to reveal that deep down inside at its core it's actually compassion to reveal that the inside is actually light. I wish you all a Shabbat Cholamoet Tov.